Hi there! My name is Al, and today in this video, I want to look at some TCG stuff. Specifically, all the rage right now, it's Dragapult EX. It's this Dragapult deck, it's, you know, a lot of decks actually. So next month, we get our TCG set Twilight Masquerade. Japan has, of course, already gotten theirs because they get theirs first, and it's gonna be like that. But what's cool is getting to see how Japanese players are reacting and building things with these new cards, with these new strategies, and Dragapult DX was shown and like known to be it's something to look out for once it was revealed and stuff But now that it's been seeing a lot of play it's dominating. This is also a bit like my little Japanese study time Okay, if you're interested in seeing Dragapult in the TCG and some strategy and other like Japanese deck lists and things You can stick around and it'll be fun I think so first resource I usually go to or that's like I think most common might be looking at what the four heavenly kings Have to say in Japanese the four heavenly kings have to say I guess these are the top four like players and so there's always like them reacting and building stuff to it and although I wish I could do better Japanese right now it takes time <laughs> The things that Dragapult has, let's also, let's first do this in English. All right, so let's look at the Dragapult engine, what's going on here. So first off, it starts with Dreepy. You gotta have Dreepy as your basic. So we have Dreepy here at 70 HP, and it's looking pretty cool. Then you're gonna evolve into the next Pokemon, and that's also an awesome card. Sometimes the middle stages, the stage one, don't get love, don't get anything special or important, but this one does. This one has been talked about. It's Dracloak. I don't even think I've said this Pokemon's name in so long. But yeah, Dracloak here it has 90 HP. It has the ability Telling Spirit. So this is what what's going on. Once during your turn, you may look at the top two cards of your deck, put one of them in your hand and put the other at the bottom of the deck. This is great. You get to see cards, you get to keep what card you have, you get to also, you get to put it up into the deck as well. So like, there's some stuff to be had there. Dragapult EX. So Dragapult doesn't have an ability or anything, the card kind of looks plain in that sense, but don't overlook it. It's got some strong stuff. So basically, we've got a uh, Jet Headbutt for 70. That's not what people are talking about. So Phantom Dive is Psychic and Fire, and it says it's 200 damage, and you put six damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. Nice. Because the other aspect is that they, they can't block it with Mana if you're like, or they can't block with, yeah, um, Jirachi, they, because it's not a basic. Jirachi typically will be the first thing that comes to mind for protecting damage counters place and like that, but nah, it's for basics, and so Dragapult is here to go to town on everything. So let's look at what the kings have to say. So in this, they say that, you know, until Dragapult EX can evolve, prepare by increasing your hand with Rotom V's characteristic. Um, and that is going to be our inst instant charge Rotom, who is very beneficial. Um, for many decks, especially Charizard, that's what we're seeing at most, I believe, and, you know, it's great. You get to grab cards um, because you are just kind of waiting to evolve your guy. It is best if you can evolve into Dragapult EX by the second turn using supports such as Pepper and Wataru. Okay, Pepper is Arvin, and it's such a better name. It's also like that in French. I'm jealous. Okay, anyway. So we've got Pepper and we've got Wataru. I have to double check Wataru. Oh, Lance. Yeah, so here's the Lance. This is gonna be a kind of a stable card for now. I think we're seeing in a lot of decks is just because Lance can get you dragon Pokemon because they are indeed dragon. And that's another key thing to this deck and cards. So the dragon type doesn't have a weakness right now. With Meloko, you can use the card only if any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn. Attach a basic fire energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. If you do, draw cards until you have six in hand. So that is handy for getting that cost of the attack for fire at least. So Neo Upper Energy has a very important role as it can satisfy the energy requirement to use the technique Phantom Dive with just one piece. Fantastic. It is the Ace Spec, the only one you can use. Of course, some decks have utilized other ones, but this is just the example for now. But Neo Upper Energy, um, it's, it's time to shine. As long as this card's attached to a Pokemon, it provides uh, colorless energy. If this card is attached to a stage two Pokemon, this card provides every type of energy, but provides only two at a time. 
that's superb. That's super. You are able to utilize just that. Of course, the trickiness is that like you only get one in the deck and but like if you're playing Arvin, which you probably are, it's easy to search. Under the recommended cards, we've got, of course, Lance, who is going to be helpful in finding um, our dragon pieces. Then they also recommend Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri is probably going to be a staple in the deck and many others because it's pretty good with the ability. The ability allows you to look for a supporter and uh, that's stellar. So that's really neat for that deck, the Heavenly Kings deck. Quick and easy, simple stuff. Um, but that's not all. Like, there's a lot of people playing it right now, and there's a lot of decks. Looks like a popular choice for this, for, like, some more support, is gonna be the Natu and Zatu. Those guys are gonna help out. They are also synergizing with the Psychic stuff and Psychic energy in the deck. That's nice to see. There's also Radiant Alakazam being used a lot for the radiant of choice because it can move around damage counters and that's really nice but another one might be um sarina sarina um for that healing because you know in mirror matches and things maybe it's gonna be really handy to have whoa sorry about the shake we're gonna look at some lists now some more stuff okay so you know in these lists you can definitely do Dragapult solo it looks like and there's a number of like solo kind of decks what meaning there's not like a big expansion of others but you can also play it within existing decks such as like lost zone stuff or charizard or also like the main two i think popular ones as well um but you can also take a lot of cards from other decks and put them into here such as you know the pidgeot engine idea of having quick search available on your pidgeot to find cards for you there is also the common um idea of having zatu and natu in the deck as well or in play so that you can get some energy you can get some stuff that you need and it just has good synergy here and that's why i guess a lot of people are using it for sure for sure and then there is you know other draw supporters include like cleffa stuff like that um the tatsugiri is like in all like a lot of them there's also the rotom v for more draw support as well i think rotom is a clear one that keeps getting added so like you know we're stealing from charizard we've got the pidgeot we've got um a rotom and all that and that's what we're rolling with because it's pretty good definitely for sure and then we've got the usual stuff luminion is also a staple that's i can see that being great you find your supporter um once you put it onto the bench and that can be helpful um supporters are great which is also why tatsugiri is great because it lets you also look for a supporter in the top cards of your deck and it's really cool but yeah a lot of the zatu lots of natu all that stuff but let's look at some guidelines or what people have to say about it so as for like guides like i said um you know here is one and i can link it below but so talking about getting second place using the dragapult deck so they are discussing it in depth here and it's a great resource um like i said it's a little clunky thanks to like the auto translation so i apologize but the main ideas are there the main ideas anyway so the strengths of dragapult are as such it's got high durability because you know like we said it's got three 20 hp but also dragon it's dragon type no weakness that's fantastic then there's good damage from phantom dive like it is it does some damage and then it just spreads damage it's great um they also mentioned saving slots and like rare candies you get to save them since you can use the um you can use doronchi which i guess is like the middle stage i believe it yeah doronchi or something and because of that you can just have doronchi or a few doronchi and you're able to put down dragapult when you want to evolve it um you know but you can also use candy and stuff especially if you're running pidgeot or charizard like the things that already need candy as well that would probably be smart and then you know you get to just go it's great the weaknesses are fragility in the early stages due to two evolutions true stage two or evolutions i should say fragility in early stages due to the two evolutions so it being a stage two um, is like it can be fragile in the beginning then there is high demand and energy acceleration method do because there's two different colors of energy you know um, like I said 
those are kind of small compared to the great things about it, but it's great. So about the direction of construction, I'm liking this. Um, we are doing energy supply first off. Energy supply, they had listed on here, you know, you can use Neo Upper Energy. You can do acceleration by Natio, which I guess is a not, it's not to, it's Zatu, it's Zatu. Um, so you have Zatu for super energy acceleration. Um, three, you've got the flame energy stuff with Meloko that we already mentioned. She's great. Um, you've got acceleration by the Lost Zone gimmick with Mirage Gate, you know? And then you've also got acceleration by Charizard's characteristic too. So like I said, it kind of depends on what Dragapult deck you're building, but there are a number of options. So don't let that one fire, one psychic scare you too much, okay? And they even go into detail about, you know, some specific how it's great. So like new upper energy, you get to just, it can uh, one hand hold attack is uh, early stage. If you can get it on there, it's early stage attack kind of thing. It is weak against Sinnoh Temple, <laughs> the Temple of Sinnoh, and the modified hammer. <laughs> they, it's a concern that Lugia will be a heavy construction. The anti-Lugia element sticks. Oh, I don't know what's happening here, but you know. <laughs> all right, all right. So yeah, um, that is the possibility. So yeah, at least with Zatu. So we <laughs> can say that once it's prepared, stable energy supply is possible. I like it. Like I said, I like the weird wordings, but yeah, pretty much all that stuff, they go into detail. It's fantastic. And then the deck concept here. In the early stages, the main move is to deploy Doranchi and Nateo firmly on board. And once the movement's established, stabilized, move through, move through the highly durable Dragapult. <laughs> These translations, they often turn over, but if they interact, they can quickly start attacking. In that case, they have the power to be an unstoppable by any deck. Oh, it's great. They even have a little matchup thing. Um, this is again based on their experience in their city league, but I think it's still kind of worth mentioning it. Also mention these names. So I guess this is what they ran into. Ancient Bullet. What a translation. <laughs> Lugia, Lugia. And I guess the circle, they beat them. It's great. Rentler. <laughs> Gekuga. I know that one. Greninja. Greninja is also an upcoming deck. <laughs> Oh boy, Pijoliza! I don't remember. I'll have to check. I'll obviously have these up. Toname. I'll have to figure this out. Pijoliza, Ancient Bullet, and Gekuga. So, um, they said that they weren't able to win in the end due to a lack of practice in facing Gekuga. <laughs> but, they did pretty good. That's just, again, one antidote, one kind of story. But I wanted to include it because I, as, like, the not the best player, I appreciate the guides and the breakdowns. You know what I mean? So I want to provide that for you as well, maybe. And we're learning new stuff. We are learning some stuff. But yeah, there's a lot of decks to choose from. There's a lot of options, like I said. Um, I don't think we have a clear, maybe, winner with it so far because they are all pretty strong. But it's going to develop. So what you can take away from this is hopefully that, you know, you got to learn some stuff, but also got to look at some possible ideas for your own Dragapult deck construction, concocting in your head, you know what I mean? To find the best thing for it. I think it's going to be really crazy when it hits over here in the West, um, because at least right now it's crazy in Japan, but it could change and we're going to see. But for now... Yeah, I just am happy to have had the chance to talk to you about it. So if you enjoy the content, if you like the video, don't forget to like it, actually. It helps the algorithm so much, even when the channel is slow. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And don't forget to let me know your thoughts as well, because I would love to hear it. And I would love to hear your ideas and strategies and well as well. So thank you so much again for watching, for everything. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!